Hey, Shake, so we talked about pregame, about being ready when your time, when your number is called, and can you elaborate on that? And is that what got you in this rhythm today? Um, I don't know. That's it specifically, just trying to, you know, be locked into the game plan and, you know, continue to put, put the work in, and, you know, I've just been uh, confident. What can you take away from this game with you guys being shorthanded, with the Clippers being fully loaded, and you guys still fall? Yeah, I mean, it was a great team effort. Uh, you know, Tobias and Al stepped up big, and they were um, they were huge for us, you know, being leaders that they are, and everybody else just tried to rally around, and, um, you know, we gave a great, great effort, but, you know, it just wasn't enough. Should we be at all surprised Good work. Appreciate it, bro. You don't see my face? Uh, so you got a different handshake. Bro. You got a different handshake. <laughs> How surprised should we be? Uh, what we saw from you, you really turned some heads today. And you, frankly, weren't a well-known commodity to a lot of people. Um, are you asking me why you guys should be surprised? Should we? Maybe I mean, we should. I don't know. I just been going out there hooping men, um, feeling confident and, you know, more and more confident as the games go by. And, um, you know, just trying to stay locked in and continue to perform. Shake said Shake that, started uh, the game today 5-5 five five from deep, which means when you made 13 consecutive three-pointers and tied an NBA record for most consecutive three. 14. 14. No, it was actually 13. Okay. Um, it was uh, any thoughts on that? Any feelings on it? Uh, I didn't know it happened. That's pretty cool. But, I mean, you know, we lost the game, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I mean, um, I know the fans back home in Philly, they don't really care if we lost. So. Um, trying to regroup and get the next one. So how great a day was this for you, it, you know, uh, to, to score 39 on national TV? Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels cool. I mean, it's a cool thing to say. Uh, I've never really played a Staples Center before, but like I said, we lost. So, I mean, you're not, you, know, you can't really take away too much from it. Hey, Shane, Brett said, uh, Brett, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all lost, but do you, when you hear people say such and such has to step up, like other players have to step up and your name isn't mentioned, do you take it upon yourself like, hey, look, I'm that guy too? Uh, honestly, I've never really heard that, uh, and I don't really pay attention to that. I mean, I feel like you, as a player, you see somebody go down and, you know, your number gets called, you see an opportunity. I mean, that's what you put all the work in for, and, um, and that's, you know, that's where you stay unlocked in for that opportunity, and you just try to make the most of it. Brett said that he spoke with you after the All-Star break, and he essentially said, like, you were out of the rotation yeah. at that point. What was, like, how were you feeling when you heard that, and, and did it, like, give you, like, a challenge, or how did that sharpen your focus? Um, I mean, it definitely sucks. Everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to be in the rotation at all times, but you know, just trying to control what I can control, and, um, I mean, you know, just keep putting in the work, and you know, if the opportunity came up presented itself, I was going to be ready. Did, oh, did you feel been with the guys this year? How has he been with yeah. the guys? Yeah, he's been great. Um, you know, he's always available. His door is always open if you want to go talk to him. Um, you know, he does a really good job of communicating with us, and um, you know, he's been a great coach. Ben went out uh, three games ago, I think. Now, I mean, how, how were you feeling coming into this stretch? I mean, did you feel like you were ready? Did you feel like you needed to get out there to see where your game was? Like, do you remember how? You were feeling about your game? Uh, no, it kind of just happened randomly out of the loop. And um, I mean, I didn't feel like I need. I would feel like I was ready. As soon as the opportunity, my number was called, I just tried to step into that role and, and make an impact. I think today was the most points you've scored since, I think, 52 in high school. Do you remember anything dating back? That's, you know, obviously, some time has passed. In high school? Yeah, I think today's the most points you've had since you had 52 one game in high school. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember it, but I've, I've scored before. I've scored points before, maybe not 39, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, once you get in the groove, you, you get in the rhythm, you know, the, the rim looks big, so. Was there a point um, today that you kind of just realized that you were really, like, walking and you going to have that kind of big game? Uh, honestly, no. I, I felt just pretty good the whole game, and once the first couple ones knocked down, uh, especially the first three, you know, I felt, I felt pretty good and ready to go. Can you walk us through what you remember from the, uh, the, the steal on Beverly and then the dunk? Just trying to make a play, get in the passing lane, so I got my hand on it and, you know, try to finish up the rim. That's it. I tried to pin, get you, nail you down to an aha moment earlier today. Mm -hmm. How, where does this rank in your, in your young career? Or today's performance? Where does this <laughs> performance rank in your young career? Uh, I mean, it's definitely up there, but I don't know. No, no, no moment feels too big. I mean, I just try to take it um, as it comes and never get too high, never get too low, and just um, stay focused. So. Where's that mild tone come from? Where's that the consistent attitude come from? I don't know. Uh, I've been playing basketball for a long time since I was young, so maybe my dad. You know, he he, he really instilled that in me, and um, trying to keep it going. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Shane.